the order of a differential equation, which is uh, either an ordinary differential equation or a partial differential equation, right? the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative appearing in the equation. For example, okay, differential equation 3, which is an ordinary differential equation, e to the x times y double prime minus 3 times y prime square plus 2x times y is equal to x times e to the x. Right? This is a second order ordinary differential equation because the highest derivative involved for the unknown y is a 2, right? Okay. On the other hand, the partial differential equation, the so-called the wave equation, equation number 2, right here, this is a second order partial differential equation, right? Because the highest order derivative involved is second derivative of u in either the t variable or the x variable. Okay. Or if we think about the, the ordinary differential equation, equation 1, okay, this is a second order ordinary differential equation in H, or this is a first order differential equation in V. Okay. Then the most general and for the ordinary differential equation may be written as capital F of x, y, y prime, and nth derivative of y is equal to 0. Where the capital F is, is a real valued function of n plus 2 variables, say, x, y, and y prime, and n's derivative of y. Okay. If we can solve this equation, equation number 4, for its highest order derivative, say, n's derivative of y as, okay, n's derivative of y is equal to little f of x, y, y prime, n minus 1 derivative of y. Then we call this equation number 5 as the normal form of the equation number 4. Okay. Here's the, the, I'll remind you what is the equation number 4. Okay. Equation number 4 is uh, capital F of x, y, and y prime, and n's derivative of y, and that is equal to 0, right? What I mean here is, if you can solve this equation for its highest order derivative, say, n's derivative of y in this form, okay, n's derivative of y is equal to function of all the other variables, okay, then we call this equation to be the normal form of this equation, okay. For example, Let's consider the, the equation number 3 again, okay, which was, okay, here the equation number 3, okay, let me copy it down here, okay, equation number 3 is e to the x, y double prime, minus 3, y prime square, and plus 2xy, and that is equal to x times e to the x, right? That's the equation number three, right? Okay. And we know that this is the second order ordinary differential equation, okay? What is the normal form of this equation, okay? Normal form of any such ordinary differential equation is, okay, we need to express it as a, uh, the highest possible derivative of y, that is y double prime in this case, okay, as a function of all the other variables, okay? So, you can simply try to first divide this equation by e to the x, then, okay, you get y double prime minus 3 times negative 
e to the negative x and y prime square and plus 2x e to the negative x times y and that is equal to x, right? Okay. Then try to solve this equation for the highest order derivative of y, say y double prime, okay? Say y double prime, okay? Then you will get y double prime is equal to 3 times e to the negative x y prime square minus 2x times e to the negative x times y plus x, right? Down here, okay? This is the normal form of the original equation number 3, okay? Sometimes we write a forced order ordinary differential equation. Say y prime is equal to dy over dx is equal to negative capital M of xy over capital N of xy as m times dx plus m times dy is equal to 0. This is another common expression of the first order differential equation. 